So exciting news. I got my garden tilled. So yeah, uh, a guy from the local community came and he tilled it for me, which was super sweet. Um, now we have like a super, super thick, thick layer of fluffy soil that we can plant into. The most exciting part is there was only one rock. One, just one. There's our one lone rock. The rest is beautiful. There's a couple little pebbles, but that is our only rock. So since my garden has been tilled, I have been starting fencing. Um, I just started fencing today. So those are just kind of sitting in the holes. They aren't put in place, don't worry. <laughs> they'll be pounded into place and they'll look a lot better. But um, yeah, I've been using the big bar thing. I'll show you the bar this bar to uh, kind of pick up and pound into the holes. It works pretty well. Then I just get the post pounder and put them into place. Once Jackson's home, I will, uh, I will get him to do that. I'm just marking out where I want each post. Um, I've got a string here and I've measured each one out to be 10 feet. This one here is just a little bit bigger. So yeah, maybe that will be where my gate goes. I guess gloves would have been a smart idea, but uh, that's okay. And yes, these are my hands. They're not Jackson's hands. I have big hands. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Hey guys, so today Jackson and I are peeling these cedar posts and we will be using them for our entryway gate posts. So our entry gate will be held up by uh, these beautiful cedar logs. Stay tuned to watch us peel them.
Sooner lay. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> I'm telling you to lay down, you silly goose. <laughs> spin. Back up. Spin. Spin. Spin the other way. This face here, right? No, that face where it is is actually kind of beautiful. Or maybe even turn That's the clearest. I was thinking mm -hmm. like that face right there. Sure. It's 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 <laughs> this way. Turn that I'm way. trying. Yeah. One. <laughs> I'll lift you turn, okay? One. Yeah. One. Two. No. Oh, nope. That's it. That's the spot right there. Honestly, it's fine because look at this ugly bit. So, yeah, yeah. it's fine the way it is. Grab the bubble stick. <laughs> I can't believe we did that. That, I did, I... Pretty graceful. It wasn't like, wasn't I honestly fucking did not. <laughs>
Hey guys, so Jackson and I have put up our entry gate and our entry posts, and now we are just finishing doing the wiring. Jackson is putting these little screws in. What are they called? Leg bolts. Leg bolts um, to attach the wire to so that we don't have to actually put nails in the post. Um, just wanna keep these as, as pretty as possible. Um, we will sand them again and stain them, but that's for the future. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll attach wire to those and then to these posts and over to the far steel posts at the end in the bush there. So um, a lot of people might wonder why we are doing a wire fence, barbed wire fence. I know it's not really the best fencing that you can use, but at the moment it's cheap. And um, in our town, we have cows, or we don't have cows, but the town has cows, I should say. The town has cows that roam around town and they often come to our property. They go to other people's properties and they eat their gardens and they, poo all over the place and break stuff. So we need something that'll actually keep them out. Um, there are horses as well that roam around town. Um, so yeah, we need something to keep them out. Eventually we will buy like the two by four me mesh fencing, but it's quite expensive. It's like, it's like $300 for a hundred foot roll. And we have a huge <laughs> area to fence off. Um, so this is, this is for now. And then eventually we'll do mesh over top of it on the interior side, I think. Um, maybe we'll get rid of the wire, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, yeah, we eventually want like livestock and stuff. So mesh fence is kind of ideal. So yeah. The last strand. This is the last one. Oh my god, I'm so tired of doing fencing. <laughs> 